Hi everybody, welcome back to my taxable channel. Today, in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to get user live location in Oracle Visual Builder application. That is more and much important when you are going to create your web application wherein you need to track the current location of the user or you want to give your user to punch in basis on the location they are. So that is more important. So let's look at how we can get the user live location in Oracle Visual Builder application. So guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. So before I start, I also would like to give one more useful information here. I have a written a book on Visual Builder. This book will help you to understand the visual builder from basics to a deep knowledge will help you a lot and you can work independently after completing this book if you are interested to buy this book you can go to this link and then buy it now let's get started and see how we can get the user live location via visual builder so i have this app let me simply go ahead and then create a page. Let's say get live location. Click on a create button. So basically, let's say I am I wanted to create a button here. And when I click on a button, I wanted to get the live location. So I'm creating a button here. And then let's say get my live location. Okay, so I'm going to generate an event here, OJ action. And in the action chain, we have one inbuilt action called get location. So I'll simply drag and drop here, which will give me the current location of a user. So here you can pass the maximum age timeout then enable high accuracy if you see what it is it indicates the maximum age in milliseconds for possible cache position that is accepted to return if it is zero so you see set the maximum age in milliseconds of a possible cached position that is acceptable to return if it is set to zero the default one it means the device cannot use a cached position and must attempt to retrieve the real current position. The second property is called timeout. Okay, what timeout is? Set the timeout value representing the maximum length of time in millisecond that the device is allowed to take in order to return a position. The third property is called enable higher accuracy. Default is false. This is important set the enable high accuracy value that indicates whether the application would like to receive the best possible results if true if you set it to true and if the device is able to provide a more accurate position it will do so this can result in a slower response times or increased power consumption by default it is false so this is my get live location let me just try to print that out so I'm going to use my fire notification here and let's see what it returns. So if you see here, the get location. So what it returns as a response, the go to this coordinates. So it returns the lat long heading altitude accuracy, altitude accuracy, and then speed. So it returns everything. So let's try to print lat and long. Okay. So I'll use this latitude and then I'll also, and then let's say plus. Longitude. Longitude. Okay. Let me that one. Maybe that's it. Okay. 
fine let's try to say notification type is let's say simply info let me try to run this page and see how it works now let's try to run this page and see what i get get my live location yes so it should ask the user permission right and let's say allow okay open preferences maybe i have to i'm using mac so i have to allow the permission let's say open preferences let me just do this so i have enabled the permission let me just refresh it let's try to get that then okay so here you see i am getting the lat and long of my current location so this is how you can get the current or the live location of a user in visual builder so guys that's all about this video if you like this video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates you can follow me on linkedin twitter facebook pinterest you can always see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye